Welcome back to the Shop Mini RC. I'm Ken, and today I'm going to show you basically how to fix a battery that's out of balance. So we have a 3S here. It's totally out of balance. Um, one of the um, actually has some damage right there, but I think we're okay. One of the cells is much lower than the other cells, but not so low that I think it damaged the cell. So here I'll plug it in. I'll show you. You can see it's 3.3 versus 3.6, 3.65 there. And when we try to charge it, get uh, delta V out of balance, something along those lines. So we're gonna be charging it at 0.5 amps. Usually you don't wanna go over 0.1 per 100 milliamp hours. Um, you can sometimes go times two, so you could do 0.2 if you're in a hurry, but generally 0.1, so I guess I can lower this just a little bit. It, it, it won't matter though, that's beside the point. Um, so this is technically what you should charge it at. Go ahead and do that. Looks like it's going to charge and then balance delta V. And what that is, is again, it's the fact that we're completely out of balance here with one of the cells. So how do we fix that? Some people say you just bump it up with uh, nickel metal, try to charge it as a nickel metal, which will charge all of the cells if you do that, because you can't balance charge nickel metal, right? It's also kind of dangerous. Um, but what I've got here is this little adapter that I made basically just has two little plugs on it that can plug into the balance port Okay, and then uh, my regular red JST here Actually, we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick one of the ports here. I know that the uh, The side you can see over here. This is your negative and then these are all positives. Black is your negative, these are all positives, so we can run it this way. It doesn't matter which set you put it on, you can actually put it on any of these. Uh, we'll just do the first set here, so it's black and red, and then on this deal here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start here, we're gonna go bam. The first set of uh, wires is the blue and the orange, and it's 6.4. When we go to the next set of wires, that's gonna be the next cell. It's the green and blue, 6.4 or 3.62. And on this last set, the black and the green, there is our 3.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it plugged in. And we're gonna put it into our regular charge leads here. And we can go to, you can use nickel metal, but really it's a LiPo, so we should be using LiPo. Oh. And we wanna charge it on 1S. Um, and we'll just charge it for a little bit. And you want to periodically check it. So we're going to let it run for a little, and then we'll check it. And once it starts to get close to the same voltage as the other cells, we'll be able to balance charge it again. We'll be back. So now we'll just go ahead and unplug this. Go back to our meter. And plug it in. Almost too much, but that's fine. Should be able to balance charge now. We're not as far off as we were. Lipo, balance charge. We're actually going to storage charge this. 3S. We'll do it at the 0.1 per 100 milliamps. And we should be good. There we go. Now we're storage charging. So to recap, it's as simple as trying to find the voltage of each cell. So you know which cell is the cell that's low and then charge that cell individually. And you can do it with just a simple adapter like this. This is basically just a, a balanced plug opposite end and I trimmed it. Uh, it's from a 2S and just trimmed off the uh, edges so I could stick it in any balance cable, essentially, and do any number of cells, all the way up to, you know, <laughs> any number of cells. So 6S, 12S, 1000S, <laughs> you, can, you can find whatever you need um, with this little guy. Simple as that. All right, guys, I hope this helps somebody out there. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Do all those things at the end of videos you like and that are helpful. And uh, yeah, don't be scared to dive into your RCs, learn about them, get proficient at your battery management and how to use your man, uh, how to use your batteries, how to store your batteries, uh, just general battery care and maintenance. 
That way you don't have any fire issues because lipos are a fire hazard. You know, if you cut one open or poke a hole in it, that's one of these we're checking it. We're probably going to put a little conformal coating over that just to help protect it. Um, or you overcharge or undercharge, you're going to damage the batteries. They can puff up. They can cause fires. And they're no joke. So take them serious. Make sure you handle your batteries property, properly. And uh, yeah, get out there. Build something awesome. Courses, cars, communities, whatever. And then smash them, crash them, and bash them. But don't break the expensive parts or fry your batteries. Don't do that.